Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Yassine, and a couple of weeks ago I did a video called How to Set Up Zooper Widget. And in that video, a lot of people had questions. So I try to answer all those questions in the comment section of that video, but it just seems like there was more questions and more questions that were coming in. So I decided to do an updated video explaining how I set up Zooper Widget on my phone, trying to be as detailed as I can, and also show you guys as many steps that I can. So I do apologize if this video runs a little long, but I'm trying to be as detailed as I can and also show you guys every single step of the way. But if you still have questions after you watch this video, don't worry, just leave me a comment in the comment section right below that like button, and I'll be over there answering all your questions. So with all that said, let's check out Zooper Widget. So these are the two widgets that I showed on my home screen from last time. And I'm gonna show you guys how to set this one up and also this one up, is step-by-step details. And there's also a third widget that I've been working around with, playing around with in the last couple of weeks that I'll show you guys how to set up. It's pretty awesome. And I'll keep that at the end of the video, so make sure you stay for that. But to get things started, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just clear the whole canvas so that I can show you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this widget and go ahead and also get rid of this widget and then we are going to just move the two applications on the bottom right here so that you guys can keep an eye on which two that I'm using, which is the Zooper widget. I have the pro version, but there's also a free version. And then I'm also using the Hook Zooper plugin. And that's the only one we're gonna need. And I'll leave those links in the description down below so that you guys can check them out. So to get started, you press and hold the home screen, go to widgets, scroll up, and you will get a lot of different sizes of the Zooper widget. And you wanna pick something that's similar to the style that you're going for, but not necessarily have to be the exact same one. So we're going for a long one up and down along the side, which is going to be the month. So I'm going to pick something like this and then create it and pull it up here. As, as you can see, it loaded, but nothing's there and it needs to be resized and stuff. But first thing I'm gonna do is tap on it and I'm going to pick a plugin. That's what Zooper Widget's always gonna ask you to select a plugin. So we'll go with hook plugin and then you can go ahead and scroll once it loads up to all the different ones that you want to use. So to get that month calendar, uh, that month widget, excuse me, we're just gonna keep scrolling until we find it, which it's right here, which it's number 85. So you will tap on that and it loaded up and now it looks really small uh, compared to the canvas that it is. And what I mean by that is if we do click uh, home and we let it load, you guys can see it looks really tiny and no matter how you resize it, it still looks really tiny. And I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. So if you tap back on it, you get back into here, you can scroll to that, to the bottom and you can go to the scaling area and you can scale up a lot until it gets bigger. But you notice that it's also getting cut on the bottom because it's scaling as a whole, the, all the words and all the layouts. So what you wanna do is once you get it to the size that you like, around 69 or maybe even down to 65, then what I would do is I would scroll up and I would click on layouts and what layout shows is all the different layouts. So now you want to try to move this up or to the right from my perspective right here. So how you would do that is you select both of these or you could simply tap this little check that selects everything and then you hit this little square on the top and now you can move it on the X axis or you can move it on the Y axis. I want to move it side to side so that's the X axis. So I will hit plus and if you guys notice in the video, it's moving to the right. And if I keep going some more, I can completely get rid of some of the text up there and just keep the month February if that's what you're going for. But I wanna just you know have it so that it fits better and some of the letters don't get cut off. Right about there looks good to me. I will click back and then click back again. And now then I can go back to the scaling and adjust it some more if I want. And right there looks good to me. And before I finish, I will click force update. And that what that does is updates the widget so that when I click home, now it's big and it looks nice. No words are cut off. And that's essentially how I set that up. So to recap everything, you select the widget you want, you place it in there, and it's all about playing with the scaling and with the X or Y offset, whether you want to move it side to side or whether you want to move it up or down. And that's something that I didn't show in the last video, so I wanted to make sure I did that. And then the other widget is the little clock with the X under it. 
same thing you press and hold on the screen you go into the widgets scroll up and you pick something similar to what the widget you're looking for so we don't need something long but we do need something that's um, you know a two by one or a one by one so I'm gonna go with a two by one bring it up to the top here and it's gonna ask me to resize or tap to start I will tap to start and once again select hook zooper plugin and all the little plugins will load up and you can scroll through it and find the one you're looking for and if I remember correctly it was right here this one and I will tap and once again it shows there shows the time has a little X it's a little design I like it but like I said earlier when I was making the other widget it is really really small in there so first thing I always like to do is go to scaling and bump up the scaling and as you can see the clock is nice and big but the X is lost in the bottom so I will try to get the scaling that I like which is around 95 and then I will go up to layouts it'll show me all the layouts and I want to shift these layouts up so that the X can show or maybe just shift the X up so what I can do is select this it'll select everything tap the top corner and this time instead of using the X to go side to side we are going to use the Y to go up and down and I'm going to shift it that's moving it down so I want a minus and that's going to move it back up but and there you go now the X is in the time is in the date and everything I can go back and it's nice and filled in go back once more I don't need to mess with the scaling and with it and all I need to do now is click force update it'll update it click home and now you have your little widget and remember you can always still press and hold and resize and it'll get even bigger because the scaling is going to work based on whatever size you set the original um, widget for so hopefully that explains everything that's how you set up that widget that's how you set up this widget if you have any questions make sure you leave me a question down below in the comment section right below that like button but I did also sell you that I had one more widget for you guys and this is something I wanted to share with you so it's all still from Zooper widget and Huck Zooper or hook honestly I don't even know how to pronounce that thing but you can press and hold go to widget and set up the kind of style you want and it's something similar to a three by one so I will click the three by one bring it up here and I will go into it and go to hook zooper and then once this loads up I'm going to go to the one that I liked and it's this one so when you look at it right now it doesn't look really nice but there's a one little tweak that I did that made it nice and I'm going to show you guys so once again it loads up it's really small I'm going to scale it up until it's big enough without things being cut off um, let me see if I actually can bump it up a little so that is the Y move it up and that shows everything so let's see how this looks on the home screen we are going to force update click home it looks nice and I will actually make it even bigger and see if I can resize the scaling so that looks really good and actually that's what I have on my screen right here but it looks a little different and this is what I did so I didn't like the font of the text of the month so if you click on it and you're back into the thing you can click on layout and like I said in that first video when I made you have all the different layers so it's just a matter of finding which layer is the month you can click on the first one it'll isolate the line that's showing you that this layer right here is the line we don't need that and you click on the next one that's the little date so we're just gonna keep going until we find which actually that is going to be the layer for the month so now I can go into that text layer and customize it but the only thing I want to do is change the font so if I go into here there is the color the font the alignment so I want to go to the font family it's going to load up all the different fonts and I personally like cursive so I'm going to select this one right here and there you go it changed the calendar uh, the month February into cursive which looks really nice then if I go back and I go back and then I force update it click home now it's all cursive and it looks nice and you can go ahead and go back in there and go to the layer of the text and you can move this around move it to the left move it up and down so that it better fits the line and everything what I actually did is I moved it to the right and then I moved it down a little so that the Y comes under and you know 
it looks better to me like that and then once I did that I went back into here I always hit force update I don't think it's necessary but it makes me feel better I can click home and that's the other widget right there so I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was a little more detailed this time around. And even if you have more questions, make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer these questions. But it's Zuper widget. It's Hook Zuper plugin. Those are how you set things up. And that's all. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.